Uh, as you know, the Space Coast is extremely important to us. Uh, we have a big opportunity. Uh, we're going to continue to uh, focus on, on that. And uh, so this bill, hopefully, uh, will move that along. We've got a big opportunity uh, going forward to continue to grow um, space, aviation, uh, just all the, op just everything that you know, the uh, Florida is known for. And uh, hopefully this bill will help us. I don't know if you all want to. Governor, it's a, it's a big honor. Don't you think he has a great haircut? Great. Got the, this is called the Florida haircut, by the way. <laughs> I don't know about the goatee, though. I know, I know. Well, it's, it's a midlife crisis. I think, um, this is a big, important bill, and I think it shows that that was the first in the Senate, first bill passed in the House, and the first bill signed by the governor this year. It's a very simple bill, very small. It changes literally one word, but it allows for federal and state dollars to flow to our spaceports, uh, both in Jacksonville and, and on the Space Coast. It's a big, big deal to allow for infrastructure, roads, buildings, things that will support more than just launches, um, which Florida, uh, we're known for our launches. We need to be known for our research and development, our construction, our testing, and this bill goes a long way to bringing those federal and state dollars in to allow that infrastructure to be built. So I, I can't thank you enough for signing it today, Governor. Jennifer, do you want to say something? Secret Senator. Well, I'm just glad to be here in support of the initiative. Our space program is of critical state concern in any way in which we can help foster the changing environment in which it will operate, we are very pleased to do so. I should have stood up because you just my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the space and aerospace industry accounts for 10% of our economy in the state of Florida. This affords us an opportunity to further expand that so that we can capture federal dollars for our infrastructure as we bring more activities to Florida with regards to commercialization and new application, and we're looking at FAA protocols for doing our unmanned aerial system across the state of Florida. So this goes hand in glove as to the, the expansion of the economy, growing jobs in the state of Florida, and bringing the exceptionalism of space and aerospace industry to the state of Florida. So I thank you both very much for having this vision and this insight. Great. Well said. Today is 16th. Did the 16th? Yes. Okay. According to my watch. Now I look at my iPhone. So you may... It was 6 a.m. the Andrew Rickman bill. Yeah, in, uh, great in, uh, in Fort Myers. And so, I don't know if you want to say something about, about that, but you said it's been used how many times? The uh, the new provision in law has been invoked 85 times in Lee County. And, and what it does, it keeps repeat violent offenders off the streets. It gives judges the ability to remand folks for custody instead of letting them out in the street and catching them later. So we think it's a great public safety measure. Okay, that's great. All right. Thanks, everybody, thanks, for coming. Thanks,